When I started sorting through my scraps a couple weeks ago, I realized I have a lot of strips. Uh, probably, probably mostly strips, actually. All of the scrap quilt ideas that had sort of been brewing in my head flew out the window, and I decided I need to make wonky log cabins. But not just any wonky log cabin. I want to make a diamond wonky log cabin. <laughs> That's a mouthful. A diamond... L a diamond wonky log cabin. Say that three times fast. Oh my goodness. Anyway, I quickly drew up this template in my favorite design software. And the only thing I included was this center diamond because I wanted it to end up in the same place in every single um, diamond at the time of making the template anyway. And then I folded along these lines like so, and that made it easy for me to place the diamonds I had cut out. Then they were a little oversized, so I folded along the line, trimmed them to a quarter inch on all sides. That way my diamond will come out the same size each time. From there, I basically just did the simplest paper piecing possible. I went light on this side, dark on that side. Let's see. Like this. And I just worked my way out. I didn't measure a single thing, and in fact, I didn't really take my rotary cutter to it until I was cutting along the outer lines of the template. I just used some little snips at my sewing machine to cut extra pieces off. I started off being really strict about my lights and my darks and trying to keep them color coordinated, but as I went on I realized that my scraps are not very well balanced and I had a lot more dark colors, a lot more blues, um, so I ended up eventually getting to this place where I just kind of threw whatever I had in. And see, that here's some um, previously pieced things. I just cut them into strips to fit in. And you know what? I don't mind the slightly scrappier ones with like a hint of a different color mixed in. Makes it a little more interesting, I think. I've also been playing around with different designs. So I have this one. It's sort of like a half log cabin. And frankly, it's not really my favorite. I've found that I don't like putting a bunch of wide ones together. I like to break it up with some of these uh, skinnier strips. And then I also have some stripes, and I'm not trying to get them perfectly lined up. This one has a decided tilt to the side, but it's sort of fun. Um, and I like playing around with the background and how much blue do I want and how much light do I want and should I add a pop of a different color in. So this has been pretty fun so far. I've been doing a couple diamonds a day. I've been trying to do a couple a day. And I've been blowing through my scraps really quickly. And I'm ending up with a lot of shorter scraps. Like these ones. Which makes these stripes um, pretty uh, handy. Because they fit pretty well at the edges. Or at the ends of the diamonds. So I'm going to try to use up as much as I can of the long strips in the full log cabin style. And then with my shorter strips, I might even piece them together to make my strips a little longer. So with my little smaller crumbs, I must do the rest in stripes like this. My current plan is to just throw all these blocks together in joyful, chaotic abandon and give it away as a baby quilt. I don't want to overthink it or um, put too much thought in, well, this should go here and this should go there. I'm just going to try to let the creative process flow without stressing about it, you know? Because the good thing about scrap quilts is they can be fun and informal and a great excuse to experiment and play with this fabric because the stakes are so low. So yeah, that's what I've been doing right now. Just very relaxed, nothing rushed or hurried. And an added bonus is that I'm feeling pretty good about myself about getting such a good jump start on my 2023 quilting goal of using up scrap fabric. So yay me, and okay, that's what I've been doing. I'll see you again real soon. Bye.